The chief of civil military affairs announced the recovery of, uh, of the arm and ammunition during the media chat in Asaba. The army continues its search for the remaining weapons and those involved in the attack. The incident has led to increased military focus on Kwama with investigations still on the way to bring the perpetrators to justice. Uh, let me have your opinion <coughs> on this development. How crucial is it for, for the uh, army to recover this weapon to you know, prevent future occurrence, reoccurrence of this attack? Well, um, first of all, they are not culprits. They are terrorists. Those who killed the soldiers yes. are terrorists. I agree. There is no mincing words about it. You know, when we sugar coat, I saw some newspapers writing, calling them youths. They are not youths. Irate youths, whatever uh, name you want to give. They are terrorists. You know, you don't go and slaughter soldiers, behead soldiers, cut their heads off, you know. Um, well, uh, but, but again, this is a manifestation of, the funda of a fundamental issue in our society. The failure of the elites, the elite class. No one can tell me, I'm from the Niger Delta. Mm -hmm. I've lived in the creeks. I know how the creeks operate. No one can tell me that those criminals, those terrorists, were able to get the hold of those weapons themselves. They are, a, they are elites that are part of the circle of people who carried out that heat. If not, if not carrying out the heat directly by arming them, maybe using them during elections, using them you know, to... You know, to for that whatever you know, brainwashed sentiments they have or the rest of that. But the point is this. It's a reflection of our society. It's a reflection mm. of the type of elites we have in our society. You know? So what happened in Okwama, the sad tale, the murder, the, the, the gruesome murder of our, you know, of our, our servicemen, mm -hmm. our service personnel, is a reflection of the ills in our society. And again, in as much as we want them caught, the perpetrators, mm -hmm. the fundamental issue, because your question, you know, how to prevent reoccurrence, is to get the sponsors. You know, it's just like, it's, if you, what they call about, what they say about Hydra, Hydra headed, yes, you cut it But how do off. we get this, uh, the sponsors? Is the communities, are they really helping out? Are they cooperating enough? Yeah, well, I, I'm not on ground to know if they are cooperating enough, but I know for a fact that the creeks, the terrain of the creeks are very complicated. They are complicated terrains. Yeah. Sometimes people leave Creek A to Creek D to commit crimes and run back to Creek A, or even run down to Creek B, not Creek A, where they originated from. You know? But I think with proper investigation, they can get to the root cause of it. But not getting to the root cause of it to kill the perpetrators. Get to the root cause of it to get the perpetrators alive. Get to the sponsors of those perpetrators. That is, those are the real terrorists. Those ones are the real terrorists. Because once you eliminate the so-called um, terrorists, the foot soldiers, you know, those sponsors will still utilize whatever resources they have to put others, you know, to the same, you know, um, 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 wicked act. Just like what happened some years back in River State, they killed one very terrible criminal. Is going by the name Don Juan, he was everywhere. Mm. But nobody talked about his sponsors. That group is still in existence today. It's still in existence today. Whether we like it or not, we can lie to ourselves. Nobody, once he was killed, and everybody celebrated, and then they paraded you know, him. You know? And that's where we get it wrong. Mm. We need to go deep. When you want to tackle an issue from the root cause, unplug it. When uh, the, you know, the U.S. launched her drug war you know, across border, you know, they, they, didn't, they didn't go for the small sicarios or what they call them, the foot soldiers, you know, the drug dealers. They went for the sponsors. That's how they were able to go after your Chapo Guzman, you know, the rest of that. And even sanctioning those within the government that, you know, you know enabled them. You know, those are, that's why you make crime, you know, to, to be less uh, attractive. Because you know that, for instance, if you know if you kill a Fed, you know. That in Nigeria, you can kill anybody and you get away with it. You know, if you kill a, a, a police officer, mm. you know what's going to come after you. You know, these are the things we need to focus to on. Go. Yeah, these are the things we need to focus on. So, the fundamentals, the root cause, yes, that's where we need to start from to prevent reoccurrence, fundamentals, root cause, and also issues of social amenities. Very important so that it doesn't become a breeding ground for terrorists.
All right, that's a very good way to end the conversation. Thank you very much for your contribution. I've been speaking with Supriala Mamber. <laughs> I'm so sorry. A policy analyst he is. Thank you so much for coming. And as well, thank you for being part of the show today. Remember, you can follow the conversation on our social media platforms at TVC News NGO on our website at tvcnews.tv. I am Jacinta Aguchuk. Until next week, it's goodbye.